Hey everyone, welcome back to my vlog. This is the second one uh, since Sunday and I'm making this to keep in touch with you while we're all social distancing and self-isolating during the coronavirus outbreak. And today is Tuesday the 17th of March, which means it's St. Patrick's Day. Yay! It's probably the strangest St. Patrick's Day that you've ever experienced. No parades, pubs are closed, restaurants are closed, cafes are closed, no parties, no one's out in the streets, and there's a real weird feeling around the place. But I wonder what you've been doing to uh, keep your spirits up during this St. Patrick's Day holiday. Maybe you've been doing a little party at home, making some treats, some crafts, learning the story of St. Patrick. What have you been doing? Let me know. Comment here in the field below or on Facebook and let me know what you've been up to. Really, really keen to hear uh, some of your shenanigans over the last while. Uh, Wogan and I, we've been busy. We've had a little party of our own here. So I'm here again in my little makeshift studio in the manse and I have my cup of coffee and I have my Bible. People have been asking me if I'm worried and as I've been ringing people and talking with people and visiting people where I can, where it's responsible to do so, uh, people are asking me if I'm worried about what's happening. And it would be a lie to say that I'm not concerned because things are really strange and we don't really know what's happening and how things are going to happen and unfold. So it's an interesting question. Am I worried? And I think the answer to that question is yes and no. I am concerned. And I'm concerned for a number of reasons. I'm concerned for people who are physically vulnerable. I'm concerned for the emotional well-being of so many of us and I'm concerned for the devastating economic impact this is going to have on so many families, particularly people who've lost their jobs at this time. I'm concerned but I'm not worried because I don't think we are without hope and I don't think we are without security. I've been praying and I've been reading some passages in the Bible that speak to the human tendency to worry and I've been taking some real comfort in those words. And I want to read a passage to you now. Maybe you'll read it with me. And hopefully it'll bring you some comfort as well. One of the passages I've been reading has been from James chapter 4. And from verse 13. So I'm going to read that to you. And you can follow along or you can just listen to the words. James writes this. Now listen. You who say, today or tomorrow we will go to this or that city. Spend a year there, carry on business and make money. Why? You do not even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You're a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. In this passage, James reminds us that tomorrow is unknown to all of us. And even with the greatest data modeling and medical advice and government directives, we still don't know what tomorrow holds. There's only one person who knows about tomorrow and that is the Lord. And we enter into tomorrow only in the Lord's will. And Jesus himself reminds us in Matthew chapter six that we shouldn't worry. He commands us not to worry not to worry about tomorrow, not to worry about what we will eat or drink or what we will wear. And he says that who of us by worrying can add a single hour to our life? So am I worried? No, I'm concerned, but I'm not worried. I'm trusting in God for tomorrow because even without the coronavirus, tomorrow is unknown to me. I'm just a vapor, but he is eternal. And because of that, and because I pray to him, because I listen to his word, I'm really not getting worried. I would encourage you to pray into this and to ask God to address your anxiety and your tendency to worry and ask him to fill you with a confidence that he is in control, that he knows what tomorrow 
holds and that we would just rest in him through this time. I hope you guys are doing okay and staying in touch with each other and staying connected as best you can. We're here to help as well in LPC. The elders are available if you need anything or you know of anyone else who needs anything practically or spiritually, we're here to help. We're just at the end of a phone or an email or a WhatsApp message, so do please keep in touch with us. If you are a teenager from LPC and attend one of our youth organizations, you can see what Ryan and Emmanuel have been up to by following the MAD and SNT Instagram accounts. They're putting some content up there. The way to get in touch with those pages will be available in the credits at the end of this video, along with my email address, the church website, and the Facebook page. So do spread and share the word and keep in touch with each other. And until next time, God bless.